today we're going to talk about crawly fingers. Um, I made it up actually, so don't tell anybody that knows anything about music what you're doing. But I learned this from an ear player, and ear players think different than music readers do. Um, they actually can play all the heavy chords like six major sevenths, thirteenths, twelves, and they can't tell you what they're playing. They just know that it sounds good. So as ear players, if we get some guts, then um, all we have to do is have the have the nerve to just kind of move our fingers around within a chord, and you, it's never going to sound bad at all. So. I'm going to show you just exactly how to do that on the keyboard. See if you've got guts like, like Greg has, he doesn't want to mess up his hair so he isn't going to put the shirt on, but the things we make you do. Okay, here's how Crawly Fingers works. You play a chord, for example most of you play C chord like this, pointer on C, up two, down three. You should play all of your chords in this octave, find middle C and play the low F and the high F, and you should be able to play all of your chords right in that octave. So if you're playing a C chord, the only note that you can't move right now is the name of the chord note, C. So crawly fingers means I can take the bottom note of this chord and I can walk it up and down. Or I can take the top note of the chord, I can't move the C. And I can go up, and you get crawly fingers. If I change to an F chord, here's the F. That's the one I'm not going to move. I'm going to start with this one. I can move it down or up, the middle note. I can move both of the notes in half steps. And you get, you can't get a bad sound. It's impossible. Okay, here's a song I make up, and I'm not going to move my left hand. I'm just going to play a couple of chords, C, F, G, and D, and then we'll try it with the crawly fingers. to find the number chords in, in any chord is play the chord. This is a C chord, G, C, E. If you add the note a half step below the name of the chord, that's a major seventh. Two half steps below the name of the chord is a seventh. I call it plain old seventh. And three half steps, one, two, three, is a sixth. So any chord that you play, find the name of the chord, Half step below is a major seven, whole step seven, one and a half step six. So it's major seven, seven, six. If you play a chord in the root position, like G, I would recommend that you put the G on top also and count back. Major seven, seven, six. 